Hello everyone, Panaman here, and today we are doing an unboxing video of our Brick Brick Sun Sun Press here. I'm going to show you what you're going to get when you purchase the machine from us, and also show you around how to use the machine. Let's get into it. And now what you're going to get, you will of course get the press, a piece of Teflon sheet, a safety instruction, and a user manual. The SunPress is a plug-in and play type of machine, so there is no software installment required. Let's plug this in and start pressing. After the SunPress is plugged in, long press the start button to start the machine. Let's start a timer on how long will it take for the machine to heat up to some common temperatures that are useful for pressing vinyls, DTF, and sublimation like 320. 360 and 390 degrees. The max temperature is 410 degrees. Meanwhile, let's run down the control panel and features of the sound press. You can press the temperature button to change the temperature settings. Long press the plus or minus sign to change the setting rapidly. You can press the timer button to change the timer setting. You can press the pressure button to change between the six pressure adjustments. When you press the customizable setting button, there are four customer settings that you can choose and change yourself. Once you are done changing the setting for one of the customer settings, it will save the setting automatically so that you can use them later. Once you get the best results for the garment and the method of pressing, you can recreate the same results with ease. Long press the temperature adjustment button to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can press the little rocket button to initiate the pressing process. The heat plate will go up automatically once the timer is up. You can also press the rocket button again to lift the heat plate during pressing. We also have an auto press button which will lower the plate every, one, every time I close the slide or draw firmly. One last step for the pressing process. And now let's see how long does it take to get to 320 degrees. So it took about eight and a half minutes to get to 320 degrees. So it took about 10 minutes and 15 seconds to get to 360 degrees. So it took about 11 minutes and 45 seconds to get to 390 degrees.
Okay, let's do sublimation first since we are at 390 degrees. We're gonna change the pressure to, to the first tier for sublimation purposes. And then we're gonna put one butcher paper inside of the shirt. And then I'm gonna put another butcher paper there in front of the shirt so that our heat plate won't be contaminated. Then putting the shirt and press down. We're gonna let, the, let it cool down a little bit before we peel it up and see the results. Now let's change the setting for DTF. We want to do 360 degrees. And 15 seconds. Let's also change the pressure to maybe the highest amount because DTF require a lot of pressure. And let's wait till the temperature arrive to 360 degrees. Now that we are at 360 degrees, let's do DTF. Let's put on the picture. Then pushing the draw. Let's let it cool down for a little bit before the peel. Now that it is cool to the touch, we can peel it. Silky smooth, very nice. While I'm waiting the press to get to 320 degrees for the vinyl, let's pre-press our machine. And if your shirt is has any like dust on it, don't forget to lean roll it. The pre-press, let's do it for five seconds and every Thing will be smooth. It prevents any wrinkles on the surface, a surface of the shirt, and it will dry out any moisture, like water, in the shirt, so that our effects are good. And let's wait for the machine to get to three hundred twenty degrees. Okay, we are at 320 degrees, but first we need to change the pressure. Oh, it has pressure tier 3, which is good for vinyl. And uh, we can press on. So now it is cool to the touch, we can start peeling. So the temperature settings that I'm talking about are all recommended by us, but please check with your vinyl provider about the temperature that we are talking about here so that they know the best about their vinyl and they will suggest you the best results at their recommended temperature. It is pretty good here and everything is smooth and stick on.
even the little ones. And it won't, won't rub off at all. Pretty nice. You can stretch with the fiber. So here is the results from vinyl to DTF to sublimation. They all look pretty good to me. And this is the sound press for you. An auto press with pressure adjustments. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section down below. And this is today's video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.